379 and you ever have issues where you turn on your turn signal and then press on the brakes and the light stays on like this, it's usually, at least for me, it's an indication that there's something. It's usually an indication to me that something's wonky with the uh, trailer wiring or some sort of wiring. Something's cross feeding something else and it shows up on the dash there. If I lift off the brakes, it starts flashing like normal. But see, my problem is I have lift axles on the trailer and I don't know if you can see it by now. You can definitely hear the air, but every time I press the brakes, the lift axles are going up. So something is cross-feeding into the lift axle power and we're gonna go try to kind of track down the culprit. I have, I'm 99.999% sure I know what the problem is. See, look, it's doing it on both lights when I press the brakes now. Now we're gonna take a look, all right? bit of a blustery day today so I don't know how much you can hear me but uh, usually when something's going on with the trailer wiring 99% of the issue it's right here this plug the way it's designed is pointing down so all the water and salt and crap gets pushed down it seeps its way into the fitting and just sits there and rots it from the underneath so we're gonna go underneath the truck and basically rewire the thing. I do this job. I mean, first step is to uh, undo this plug. Come on. There we go. Yeah, you can see, I don't know, it was cleaned just a couple minutes ago I wiped all the green crap away but it still works its way into that cable and that's a brand new cable like it's only a couple months old but the actual uh, the actual pins in there got a little green on it but it's the wiring underneath this that it sits in the boot and rots away so we're gonna go under the truck and I'll show you okay so this is under the truck it's a bit of a tight squeeze in here with the drive shaft, but uh, there's actually room to work. Anyways, this uh, this black boot right there, it ends up holding all the water, and I replaced it with a brand new pigtail, and then a month later it was screwed up again, so I pulled the boot down, and uh, sure enough everything was corroded. So I ended up drilling a hole in the bottom there, to let all the water out and filled the thing with grease and uh, yeah that was the last time I actually rewired it and it lasted uh, up until about now so um, yeah anyways we're in a rest area in Michigan right now and I'm, uh, I'm having the lift axle issues so I'm gonna get this fixed it's kind of a gonna be a temporary on the road type of deal I've got my tools over here so I got the tool kit, I got um, the wire strippers, I got a Phillips screwdriver, needle nose just in case, and uh, clippers for clipping the ends off. So we'll pull the boot off and uh, yeah, get her started. Okay, I'm having issues with my other camera freezing up and stopping recording so I'm going at it with the GoPro but this is the point that we're at right now so I pulled the boot down and exposed the wires and took the little screw out on the top here so I could pull the whole pigtail down this is a bit of a messy job come on all right I need gloves Actually, the whole thing rotates, I think, I do believe. Which way? Which way do you rotate? Yes. 
Alright, I need two hands. pigtail and all these wires in the back here are what's corroding away and giving problems. So now we undo all these screws and pull all the wires out and then clean everything up, cut the wires back and uh, slap her all back together and hopefully it won't uh, be cross-feeding all sorts of different things.
know the wires aren't the greatest in the world, but they're better than they were. We just clean this guy up. should be labeled which one is which and I do believe the, uh, the biggest hole at the top is the white table which is brown. They should be labeled. again and I gotta find the, the screw if it hasn't blown away. No, nope, it's right here. Good. Okay. Okay. So this is what it looks like when it's all put back together. I just feed the uh, 
feed the wire into the hole, crank her down with the little screw on the side, and then go to the next wire. Good advice is to make sure that the middle one, I think that's the blue one, is cut a little bit shorter than the rest, and the rest are all fairly even, because I was having a heck of a time with this green one, because it was a little bit longer than the rest, so I was pushing the whole thing out as soon as I tried to uh, put it in the hole. So, yeah, I started by putting the blue one in first, tightening it right down, and then the white one and the red one, because they're the biggest wires, get those in place and then the other four can just go in order of uh, where they come out of the green wire yeah so let's slap her back in and see what happens my bum is numb Okay, so normally at this point I would go and uh, uh, fill it up with grease just so the water stays out of it, but I'm in a bit of a hurry so I'm just going to slap it, slap the cover back on and uh, we're going to roll with it. Okay, don't forget to pull it. Task. But I'm out of air. Turn on the lights. Turn on the four ways. <laughs> oh, it's already screwed up. That is not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Brakes? Yeah. Look at that. going on but that's what I usually have a problem with so anyways I'm ending it here and uh, gonna figure this out elsewhere okay here's what I have going on ground and positive you can see there's power to the test light so I have the I have it grounded right now, and I'm going to try to hold the test light on the middle prong without touching anything. You know what? It'll just stay down there, and I'll go through and add power to the marker lights. You can see they light up. And... This is the turn signal, the right turn signal, and the brake lights. But if I jump both of them, the turn signal and the brake lights, you see there's a little bit of power going to the center pin. And there's a little bit of power going to the marker lights too. And it's completely disconnected from my truck. So it's something going on with the trailer. Thank you.